This is Lynn Lee Oz, January 13th, 2014. I don't know if all of you have noticed or not, but in the past few years, um, the United Nations has been buying up all the state parks, which you can see here, United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization. And I have a picture of this in my post as well. Every state park in the whole entire United States of America owned by none other than the United Nations. Now, if that wasn't everything, take a look at this too. Now you've got the United Nations using none other than China to buy up all of the major U.S. cities. You can see here, um, I've got different articles here. Chinese investors are buying up Detroit. Then you see here, back in 2011, China wants to construct a 50 square mile self-sustaining city south of Boise, Idaho. Then you have Toledo, Ohio. Will Toledo, Ohio be the first major American city to be owned by China? And then you've got the ultimate worst, and that is U.S. gives China eminent domain over U.S. property beyond high treason. And it tells you right here, let me find... Um, the quote, it goes through four, or not four, actually more than four different points here. Connect the dots. Um, and it talks about different things that are very, very troubling and interesting, okay? About the things that have gone on over the years to do with this. But then we go down here. What was it? Dot number 12 says, Barack Hussein Obama is elected promising change you can believe in. After taking office in January, Obama sends Hillary Clinton on a critical mission to China and helps write H.R. 45, a complete grab of America's guns, a la Adolf Hitler. State leaders who understand what Clinton and Obama agenda with China is about are seeking legal sovereignty to prevent the loss of property to a foreign power. Everybody should know about the whole gun ban issue. And they leave us with 13 evil dots. Now we know 13, I believe this is intentional in this article, to do with the Illuminati. The feds grant eminent domain as collateral to China for U.S. debts. Now let me give you a tidbit here. Beijing, China. Sources at the United States Embassy in Beijing, China have just confirmed that the United States of America has tendered to China a written agreement which grants to the People's Republic of China an option to exercise eminent domain within the USA as collateral for China's continued purchases of U.S. Treasury notes and existing U.S. currency res reserves. The written agreement was brought to Beijing by Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and was formalized and agreed to during her trip to China. This means that in the event the U.S. government defaults on its financial obligations to China, the Communist government of China would be permitted to physically take inside the USA land, buildings, factories, perhaps even entire cities to satisfy the financial obligations of the U.S. government. To put it simply, the feds have now actually mortgaged the physical land and property of all citizens and businesses in the United States. They have given to a foreign power their constitutional power to take all of our property as actual collateral for the continued Chinese funding of U.S. deficit spending and the continued carrying of U.S. national debt. And, of course, this is an unimaginable betrayal of every man, woman, and child in the USA an outrage worthy of violent overthrow. Now I will supply the link to this article and you really need to take the time to read the whole thing. It looks very long, but um, that's because the format on this page uh, is very narrow and the font large. It's really not that long of an article. I really encourage everyone to read it. Now my point in all this is why over the past few years, has the United Nations, New World Order, Illuminati, purchased every state park and is seeking to utilize China to purchase our major cities. And, of course, this horrible, horrible act of giving China eminent domain over U.S. property, um, which is beyond high treason. Now, we are in debt to China. Okay, uh, everybody pretty much so knows that, but this is an outrage. So what is ahead? What is ahead this year? 
I wholeheartedly believe and have reason to believe that something terrible is getting ready to come to us economically. I believe that we're looking at possibly um, April to July, that sort of a time frame for some major event that is going to cause an economic collapse. At that point, when this event happens, there will be rioting, martial law will be implemented. People will literally be going nuts looking for water, food, anything they can get their hands on. What will that involve? Well, when our human instincts kick in and we see our children getting dehydrated, it only takes a few days to die from dehydration. You can go without food for a while, but you can't go very long without water. And when people can't get the things that they need in order to live, what do you think is going to happen? When that survival mode kicks in, people would literally bust your windows out to get into your home and take your water and your food in order to sustain themselves and their families. Again, something is coming this year. I can't warn you more. All I urge you to do, okay, there's a possibility I could be wrong. All right, but what if I'm not? What if the information I have received is correct? I have reason to believe that it is. Just in case it's not going to kill you to heed my warning and be prepared in the event that this does indeed happen. Okay, and it just so happens to occur in the same time frame as the first blood moon. Pretty interesting. I urge you to take every necessary measure in case this does happen to protect yourselves. I urge you to Google survival tips, look into survival, ask people questions, make sure that you have a plan. Make sure you have a plan for your current home in the event this happens with extra water, food, um, survival things that may be necessary. Uh, I know it's expensive, but if you can afford it, get a solar powered generator. There's different things that you can get, such as a uh, quick clot sport, advanced clotting sponges, the emergency bandage three pack. Consider getting oral IV is a game-changing approach to performance. It is a revolutionary hydration aid product based on a proprietary blend of electrolytes, minerals, and purified water. It costs $11.99 a packet. You can get that at oraliv.com. That's O-R-A-L-I-V.com. Now, um, if you consider that if it gets really bad and you have to go to a location outside of a city, you know, to a more rural setting, you're not going to be able to take like, uh, you know, 10, 15, 20 con big containers of water bottles. That, that'll just be too much to travel. So you can get this. It's called portable, or excuse me, potable water, potable aqua or potable aqua. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, okay? But it's water purification tablets, okay? It says pot pot potable aqua water treatment tablets. That just seems weird saying that without the R in it. <laughs> and um, price is $5.99. You can get those from Amazon.com. Okay, now there's also another one here. It is called Aqua Mira Frontier Emergency Water Filter System. Let me slide this over so you can see the whole name right there. Okay, $10.57. Right here, you can see the big picture. There you go. Frontier Emergency Filter. And what it does, is it says right here, let me slide it back over so you can see it. It is an emergency water filter system ideal for hiking, traveling, and emergencies. Particle blend removes more than 99.9% .9 of cryptosporidium and gyardia. Compact body slips easily into a day pack, shirt pocket, or travel bag. Single unit filters, up to 30 gallons of water, improves taste, eliminates odors, weighs less than one ounce. 
use in conjunction with treatment drops or tablets for best results. And I just showed you the tablets which were over here, okay? And I didn't read you what it said about that. It says potable aqua water purification iodine tablets, 50 tablets. You get 50 tablets per uh, package. Iodine tablets designed to make contaminated water suitable for drinking. Tablets prove effective against Giardia lamblia when used as directed, intended for short-term or limited emergency use only. Water is ready within 30 minutes, neutralizes iodine, aftertaste and color, ideal for campers, travelers, hikers, militaries, and emergency organizations. Now, this would be in the event that you go out to a place, let's say, and you have available to you pond water or river water and you want to clean it, um, you would use these things. So these are just some ideas for you um, to get you ready and to get you prepared. There's obviously a lot more um, supplies that you need to think about getting. These are just the ones that you might not think of that are important. Um, you may want to also consider getting yourselves portable two-way radios. Great investment. All right. Um, just some important things to think about. I can't tell you more. I believe something is going to happen um, in months, not years. We're going to see something big happen. There is going to be a big mess. And if you're not prepared for this big mess, then you're going to be in big trouble because of the big mess. I'm trying to help you. You can heed my warning. You can ignore it. You can do what you want with it. You can laugh at it. Do whatever you want with it. At least in the end, God knows I tried to warn you. I hope that I'm wrong. I hope that um, the information I've received is wrong. That would be great if it's wrong because I really don't want this to happen. You know, we all have loved ones. So be prepared. And the moment that you hear anything about um, banks closing, even just temporarily to upgrade their system, I know we've heard that before and had a lot of false alarms. But this time around, I want you to take it seriously. The moment you hear it, go right down and take your money out. Um, have a safe in your home, buy a nice, good, secure safe. Put your money in the safe. Leave as little money as absolutely necessary in your checking account. Okay? You may have to have your checking account, so leave a little bit in there, but take the vast majority of your money out in the event that you hear of anything to do with banks closing. Okay? All right. Well, anyways, for all my YouTube viewers, after I upload this video and it uploads, please give it a moment for me to place the link in the about section. Follow the link to the entire article. There's a lot more there. Thank you very much. God bless you.